clearly the sort of origins of the universe are something that is now a scientific discipline or a scientific question, but also is a spiritual religious question. And so reconciling this or trying to understand how they interplay is a very important thing. For me, I mean, I think it's easily reconciled if you have a certain view of, um, you know, the religious story and the scientific story. <laughs> so, you know, certain views are going to be very hard to reconcile, of course. But for me, they, they interconnect very beautifully. Um, so the idea that the universe was created was actually um, probably seemed kind of crazy from a scientific point of view 100 years ago because people looked out, they looked out at the stars and they saw that everything looked stationary. Everything was always the way it was and it probably was that way forever. And so there was no beginning, it just always was. And what has happened in the last 100 years with the development of uh, general relativity, Einstein's great achievement, and cosmology, understanding the universe is expanding, is we know that that seeming static nature of the universe is totally um, a myth. I mean, we know that the universe has expanded and is a very dynamical thing. And so this idea that the universe um, you know, had a beginning is a very recent thing, but it's actually supported by the scientific uh, you know, work. And exactly how that beginning worked, whether there was this theory of inflation, it's sometimes called, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of details we're trying to work out, and those are exciting things in research right now. But just the general picture that there was sort of a early period, which you could think of as a creation, uh, and we emerged from this dense, hot universe, that to me is actually a, a great sign of concordance between uh, scientific ways of thinking about the beginning and uh, the, uh, the, the biblical story and other religious stories like that. And it's, it's really important what you said before, which is that um, science itself kind of emerged from religious thinking. I mean, uh, I think C.S. Lewis said, you know, the only reason you would want to be a scientist is if you thought there was some order in the universe so that you had something to figure out. And the early people who thought there were order were people who thought there was an orderer, someone who ordered it, namely God. And so if you look at the early history of science, some of the great, many of the great um, contributors uh, were you know, very deeply religious. And uh, the Big Bang emerged from you know, work of a Catholic priest. And uh, even up to the present, some of the great people that we uh, sort of revere for their scientific achievements are, are Christians. And so this is something that's maybe not as well appreciated, but it's definitely true.